Now, next thing is cell potency. Competence is that ability of a cell to respond to a specific signal, right? Potency is that with what potential will that cell be responding, right? So, if you want to define potency, see, it refers to the potential of a cell to differentiate into various different cell types and in some cases to undergo de-differentiation and revert to a more pluripotent cell. Just eliminate this particular line for 20 minutes because you will be learning about differentiation, commitment, specification, all these things. Maybe in this particular class or maybe in the next class. So wait for that. Just remember what is cell potency that you have a cell in this particular cell, what ability is this cell having to divide into various, various different types? This is what cell potency is. Can you write down the name of the cell with which every living organism start their life with? Yes. What do we call that particular cell as? With which we start our lives. Yes, what do we call that particular cell? Think. It's very simple. Think about it. I'm asking about that particular name of cell. Zygote, not embryo. It is the zygote, which is the single cell, right? Now, how does this single cell divide and convert into an entire stem cell is not the I am asking about the name of the cell totipotency I am asking about the name of the cell what are you people writing totipotency is totipotency a name of cell Jagadish yes is totipotency a name of cell zygote is what it is the single cell right now, how does the single cell divide into various different types and convert or uh, produces an entire human being with so many different, different functionality? So, that is what or over here the concept of cell potency comes in. Initially, you have a zygote and this zygote will be undergoing a number of divisions. Now, when a cell is able to divide into all the cell types of the body, all cell types, it can convert into all the cell types, right? Based on that, we will be calling it a totipotent cell, right? Now, understand this over here. We have four major types of cells. One is a totipotent cell, then you have a pluripotent cell, then you have a multipotent cell and then you have a nullipotent cell. In various different different books, you will see various various different uh, definitions for the same. For example, you might see the terminology of unipotent or you might see oligopotent and all these things. First, understand these four and then you will be easily able to correlate the other types as well. Totipotent cell is that when one cell or the cell which from which we begin our life that is the zygote when zygote or the cell which is capable of giving rise to all the cell type and your extra embryonic tissues as well right what is a totipotent cell all about repeating it so when a cell can convert into all the cell types of the body see the cells having the highest level of potency totipotent cells are what which have the highest level of potency and can give rise to all the cell types in the body as well as the extra embryonic tissues that are needed for the embryonic development. Totipotent cells are typically found in the very early stages of the embryonic development. Okay, so what is a zygote all about? Zy uh, what is a totipotent cell? So, totipotent cell example is zygote which can arrive, give rise to all the cell types in addition to that, the extra embryonic tissues as well. Right. What is a pluripotent cell which can give rise to all the cell types but not your embryonic cells? 
pluripotentis what it can also give rise to all the cell types but it will not be able to give rise to the pluripot the embryonic cells so what is a pluripotent cell pluripotent cells they can differentiate into the cells of all the three germ layers we'll be learning about the germ layers in very uh, superficial lang uh, uh, means in this particular unit and in unit number seven Kushi ma'am will take up the entire detailed part of what ectoderm mesoderm endoderm all these things are right so pluripotent cells the one that can differentiate into all the cell types but it cannot differentiate or it cannot form the extra embryonic tissues so what is the difference between a totipotent cell and a pluripotent cell totipotent cell which can give rise to all the cell types and extracellular embryonic cells as well pluripotent is which can capable of giving rise to all the cell types but not the extra embryonic cells right then you have multipotent cells so what are multipotent cells when you have a cell which can give rise to all the cell types of a specific variety for example you have a cell and let's say it's a blood cell it can give rise to all the types of the blood cell for example red blood cell for example white blood cells etc etc so this is what a multipotent cell is see multipotent cell they are more specialized than pluripotent they can differentiate into a very limited number of cell type within a specific tissue or organ for example see they have given you an example of hematopoietic stem cells these are the ones which can give rise to various type of blood cells this is what a multipotent cell is repeating again totipotent the cell which can give rise to all the cell types and the extra embryonic tissues as well pluripotent which can give rise to all the cell types but not extra embryonic multipotent which can give rise to all the cell types of a similar organ of a particular tissue of a particular organ this is what multipotent cell is right then you have unipotent cell unipotent cell is fourth one which can differentiate in only into a single type for example the muscle stem cells they can convert into a muscle stem cell only unipotent uni means single single potential unipotent right so totipotent pluripotent multipotent and unipotent these are the four types now in addition to that we have nullipotent as well which are not capable of giving rise to any type of cell which are not possible which are not capable of giving rise to other cell types they are known as nullipotent okay so totipotent pluripotent multipotent and unipotent and nullipotent as well so see totipotent cells are what the uh, one which can give rise to all the cell type pluripotent is all the cell type but not the extra embryonic multipotent is of the similar type right this is what the four types are there unipotent is different nullipotent is different i have not yet completed the topic first let me finish then you can ask doubts okay it will be easier because first if you start making up concepts in your mind it becomes difficult for you to understand so let me finish off the explanation first right so nullipotent which are not capable of giving rise to other cell type unipotent is which can differentiate into only single cell type okay that's the difference totipotent pluripotent multipotent uh, and unipotent right then we have the next terminologies remember these four things because almost every year you can find at least one question in any of the paper related to the life sciences and you can easily get through these type of questions if you understand the concept properly right so totipotent pluri multi and uni right quickly go through this then we'll understand about the next thing or the next set of topics which is specification commitment differentiation all these things one minute for this <laughs> 